Hey everyone, it's Karen. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm happy to have you. In today's video, we're going to be doing a quick recap of my last um, budget cycle and preparing my budget for the next uh, two weeks. So if you're interested in that, I hope you'll stay tuned. All right, you guys. So um, real quick recap of last... Um, the last budget cycle. Um, for those of you who are new here, uh, the only things that really change are my expenses because I'm a bi-weekly budgeter. I know what my bills are going to be for the next two weeks, so there's no like estimating or anything like that. Uh, the only things that fluctuate again are my expenses. So um, we budgeted 300 for groceries. We spent 260. We budgeted 40 for fuel and spent zero budgeted 80 for food and fun and spent 72. We budgeted $60 for miscellaneous and spent zero. And then we budgeted $15 for our water drugs, which is our drinking water, and we spent five. Um, and also a little bit of background. Uh, for those of you who are new here, um, just tuning in for the first time maybe, um, I am a bi-weekly budgeter. I only budget my income. I don't budget my husband's income. So there are expenses and bills that um, that you're not going to see on my budget because those come out of my husband's paycheck. So um, there was someone in my comments who was a little confused by um, the lack of insurance and cell phone and um, they were, you know, uh, I don't even know what the what the term is, but for my water bill right here, they were like, how can your water bill be $15? Okay. I just want to make it clear that these are not bills. <laughs> I don't take my bills out of the bank. I leave my bill money in the bank and I pay those online. Since I budget bi-weekly, for example, this last budget cycle, you're not going to see cell phone on here because my cell phone bill wasn't due during this two week cycle. It's going to come up on this budget that I'm preparing for the next two weeks. Um, you're not going to see mortgage. You're not going to see insurance because those things come out of my husband's paycheck, which we don't discuss. I don't do that on film. Okay, so just want to put that out there. Um, there Again, there are some things that I have in bills that you're going to see and some that you're not. And if you ever have any questions, please ask. Um, but again, there is uh, just want to remind everybody that there is a nice way to ask if you have questions about my the way I budget so um, all that to say is we um, budgeted a total of four hundred ninety five dollars for expenses and we spent three hundred thirty seven dollars so once we take out um, once we do all the math down this column we were left with one hundred fifty eight dollars for rollover money so that money is going to be rolled into the next two weeks um, so let's just go ahead and get my iPad. Um, let's see. Okay, so we are going to be preparing my budget for, um, for the next two weeks of July. Um, today is Thursday, July 11th. I can already see my paycheck in the bank and um it's going to be payday is tomorrow july 12th so the next next budget that i'm preparing is the next two weeks which will be until the 25th because i get paid again on the 26th so let me grab a highlighter and we'll just highlight this payday on the 12th in this little blue color and with this paycheck on the 12th we're going to pay our internet we're going to pay phone insurance for me we're going to pay our cell phones our electricity and phone insurance for my daughter because these are the bills that are coming due before i get paid next okay all righty so let's go ahead and my payday is going to be july 12th And my pay cycle is going to be from July 12th, or my budget cycle, July 12th through July 25th. Okay, um, my income is $16.89, me. 
$16.89. Another thing you guys won't see in my budget is change. I don't like to deal with change. So any incoming is rounded down to the nearest dollar and any outgoing for bills rounded up to the nearest dollar because I don't like messing with the change. Okay. Alrighty, so my income is $16.89. We also have rollover money, which was how much? $158. Let's go back here. Yes, we had $158 in rollover money. And my um my husband is going to be contributing a portion of his income to the electric bill. So our electric bill, I can already see it, is $202. So we're just going to, um, I'm just going to put hubby here. And I'm just going to, um, he's going to give me $100 for the electric bill. So kind of splitting it. Okay, so total income is $16.89. Plus 158 plus 100, so 1,947. Okay, alrighty. Uh, for my bill section, we're going to be doing the internet, and that's 125. We're going to do phone insurance for me. And that's four dollars we're going to be doing our Verizon which is our cell phone bill and that's 175 we're going to be doing our Southern California Edison which is our electricity bill and that's 202 and then we're going to be doing phone insurance for my daughter and that's ten dollars okay so total bills we have for the next two weeks 125 Plus four, 175, 202, and 10. So $516 in bills. And again, this money, if you tune into my cash stuffing, you're not going to see any cash going to bills because I don't um, take that money out of the bank. I leave it there and I pay my bills online. I know there are some people in the community who pull out money for their bills. Um, and then when their bill comes due, they put the money to the bank and then they pay it that way. I don't do it that way. Um, it's, it's a personal preference. And I think sometimes those people, maybe they get paid weekly. And so they pull out per, like a fourth of the bill each paycheck. And then, you know, when the bill comes due, then they have all the little um, portions that they've pulled out from each paycheck. Um, so... Sometimes, they, you know, some people do it that way. I don't know if that's their reasoning. Again, I don't do it that way. My bill money stays in the bank and I pay it online. Okay. Um, so if we take 1947 and we subtract the $516, we're left with 1431 Okay. We're going to come over here to groceries. And we're going to give ourselves 300 for groceries. We're going to do 40 for fuel, um, food fund we're going to do 80, uh, 60 miscellaneous, and we'll do 15 for water. And again, this is our water jugs for our drinking water for our home. We fill up the um, five gallon water jugs. So this is not my running water for the house. That would be a bill and it would be under the bill part. Okay. All right. So um, our total expenses here are 300, 40, 80, 60, and 15, so 495. Okay, so if we take this amount, 1,431 minus 495, then we are left with $936. Okay. Um, I always set aside $100 for mini Mondays. $100 for Faith Fridays because I do um, $50 each week to each of those. For my games, I'm going to set aside, um, let's do $100. And then we're also going to do games, another line for games here with our rollover money. And that is $158. 
Okay, so that leaves, that is one, two, three, four hundred fifty-eight dollars for our savings challenges and games. So 936 minus 458 equals 478. Okay, so that is how much we have to go towards our sinking funds. Okay, so let's go over here. 478 is how much we have to work with. Okay, uh, we're gonna start with giving, our high, my high priority section. And uh, giving is gonna get 168. And look you guys, there is no line for extra debt because we're yee, debt free besides my mortgage. When you guys say debt free, are you including that? Are you including your mortgage in that? So when you say debt free, that means you don't have a mortgage either? Because I feel like I'm debt free besides my mortgage and I'd like to say I'm debt free, but I don't wanna say debt free besides my mortgage every time I say it. Just curious, do you count your debt as just like consumer debt or do you include your mortgage in that? Because I don't have consumer debt, let's put it that way. I'm consumer debt free, yay! Okay, a uh, month ahead is gonna get 40. Utilities, this line item for utilities is just extra money that I put towards um, utilities, whether it's a higher electric bill during the hot months or a higher gas bill during the cold months. Um, that's just something that I'm gonna keep contributing to. So I think I'm gonna put, um, I think I, I finished a savings challenge. Let me see. I think I, I think it did get some extra money here. Yeah, I have $160 in there, so let's just do, um, uh, let's do 20. Um, and then let's do 10 to date night and then each of the kids and see where that leaves us. Let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 80, 100, 268, right? 40, 20, 40, 168. Yeah, 268. All right. Um, for our annual expenses, we have $10 for Auto Club, Canva 5, Costco 7, Dog Tags 10, Escrow 15, Infinity Tags 5, our PO Box 12, $7 for Prime. 15 for taxes and $7 for check tags. And just to clarify here, our escrow, $15 to our escrow account, that is um, in case our um, property taxes or insurance go up such that there is a not enough money in our escrow account to cover it. Then we have this little bit of extra to pay for it so that it's not lumped into next year's um, mortgage payment. So that's what that is. And then the taxes right here, are our um, our personal tax preparation. Not, we don't have a tax bill or anything like that. This is just to save up for our accountant to prepare our taxes. Okay, alrighty. So all of this totals 10, 5, 7, 10, 15, 5, 12, 7, 15, and 7. $93. Okay, so is that right? Let me see, how much was it? Mm, yeah, $93. Okay, so we have 268 plus 93 is 361. That leaves us $117. Okay, so my long term here um, is mainly funded through my Mini Monday Savings Challenges. Um, and then Christmas is funded through my um, Faith Fridays. So really all I want to put in here right now, I'm going to put, um, let's see, I'm going to put $10 to holiday decor and then $10 to vacation. So that's minus 20. Okay, and that leaves me $97. All right, on this side... Um, let me go ahead and put, um, I'm going to go ahead and, how much do I have in my, um, 
in my pool supplies because we do need chlorine. And yeah, it's going to need more than that. Okay, so let me go ahead and put, let's just change things around a bit, you guys. Okay, I'm going to put $30 to pool supplies. And then up here, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do $10 to utilities because I think it's fairly under control this month. Next month, it's probably going to be a little bit higher. Okay, so that's different. So that's one, two, three, four, five. That's 168 plus 40 plus 50. So 258 here. 258. All right. And then 30. And then 20. And let's see what that leaves us. Okay. 258 plus 93, 30, and 20. So 401 minus 478. That's going to leave us 77 for a buffer, which is good. Okay. So our sinking funds that are going to go from 712 through 725 total. What did I say? <laughs> 258, 93, 30, and 20. 401. Okay, so let's scooch back over here. 401 sinking total. 478 minus 401 will leave us a $77 balance, and we'll just put that into buffer. So let's do 77 buffer. Okay. I thought we would have a little bit more money to spread out over our sinking funds since we're not doing the $110 to extra debt, but I think it's because our electric bill was a little high. Like, for me, the latter part of the month is, like, um, like heavier in bills. Like, my, my higher bills come out towards the end of the month, which I guess I could call... Um, I don't know. I don't know if I could call someone and see if I could bump one of those up to, like, earlier in the month because right now... Um, normally I would have my visa up here, which is a, which is a, a good chunk of change, but I'm, but I don't have that anymore. So my bigger bills, like my cell phone and my current, or my electric bill, those are always due like right here, right next to each other. So, I mean, if I could bump one of them up a little bit more, I don't know if I could do that, but that might help a bit. Um... Although I don't, I don't know how much of a difference that would make because then it would be lumped up here with internet. I don't know. I just feel like the la like this part of the month is heavier for me in bills. So, anyways, anywho, um, I think that is a good working budget. We have enough for our games and savings challenges, and we have enough for um, our sinking funds. Hopefully, I'll get back to putting a little bit more towards my revolving sinking funds. Um, but we're good for now. And then, um, and then, yeah, my long term are funded through my mini Mondays. So those other categories should be good besides holiday decor and vacation. So, okay, so I am going to go ahead and put all of this information onto my paper budget here guys and then I'll be right back okay hold please okay you guys I'm back um one thing that I forgot to do was highlight the amounts that I'm going to take out of the bank so let me just grab my um my highlighter and um we are going to be pulling out $495 for my expenses which are my um like my wallet type things and then we're going to pull out $458 oh no Can I erase just the highlight? No. Okay, so 450, that was 458, right? Sorry. Okay, we're not going to do that because part of that is rollover. So I need $300 because the 158 right here is rollover money. Okay, so I'm going to get 495 for my expenses. I'm going to get 300 for my savings challenges. 
and um, and games and then I'm going to grab four hundred and one dollars for my sinking funds okay so that is four ninety five plus three hundred plus four oh one that's one thousand one ninety six so let's just do one thousand one ninety six in cash and then I'll add that here as well 1,196 in cash. Okay, so let's go on now to my um, my cash breakdown. So for groceries, we're gonna do 300. Fuel is 40. Food fund is 80. Miscellaneous 60. Water 15. Oh, I still have extra debt on here. I'll have to take that out. Hold these. Oh, sorry. That sneeze just snuck up on me. Okay. Uh, giving is going to get 168. Month ahead is 40. Utilities 10. Date night 10. Each of the kids is 10. Um, my pool supplies is 30. And then over here onto my, oh please, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, um, whew, okay, so Auto Club is 10, Canva is 5, Costco 7, Dog Tags 10, Escrow 15, Infinity Tags is 5, P.O. Box is 12, Prime is 7, Taxes is 15, Truck Tags is 7, and then um, my long-term holiday decor is 10. And then vacation is 10. Okay. And then, oh, mini Mondays is 100. Faith Fridays is 100. And games is 100. Okay. Alrighty. Um, let's just tally that up and see. Hang on one second. Okay. Oh my goodness. My sneezes are, whoo, you guys, almost like a cat just went right in front of me because I'm allergic to cats. But anyways, let's tally, uh, let's total this up and just make sure that I've got the right amounts here. So $783. And then on this side, let's see. $413. So $413 plus $783 is $1,196, which is what we should have right here. Okay. So I'm going to go do my bill denominations. I, for my expenses, um, I like to break it up so that I have a little bit, a few smaller bills in there in case I need change for anything. And then everything else for my sinking funds are just the, um, just the lowest number of bills to total that amount of money that I need, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, do this real quick and then, um, and then I'll be right back. Okay. Hold please. Okay, you guys, I am back, and I should have, or I what I need to pull from the bank is two hundreds for 200. I need 350s for 150. I need 1920s for $380. I need 2710s for 270. I need 33 fives for $165 and 31 ones for $31. Whoops. So if I add those all across, I get $1,196, which is what I should have in cash. So let me get a teller slip here. And scooch these over a bit. Let me get a pen. Okay, so 
two hundreds for two hundred. I need three fifties for one fifty. Nineteen twenties for three eighty. Twenty seven tens for two seventy. Thirty three fives for one sixty five. And thirty one ones for thirty one dollars. So let's just double check that. And yes, 1,196. Okay, so that is what I'm gonna grab from the bank tomorrow. Let's close this so my lighting will go back to normal. I don't know why it does that. Um, but yes, that is what I'm going to be pulling from the bank tomorrow. And then we'll do our cash stuffing. So that is gonna do it for me today, you guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. And um, thank you guys so much for being here. I will see you guys all next time. Take care. Bye-bye.